Amen. Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah, Margo. Hey, we would like to extend a special welcome today. We've got some um, visitors on campus checking Hope out. And we think it's a pretty great place and would love um, for you to join us next year or the following year um, if you're really on top of things and checking out schools now. A um, couple announcements. Uh, today, Monday, is the deadline for applications for the Hope Neighbors House. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out um, our website online. You can find out info there. Um, we've been talking about it um, in chapel, so hopefully you have a clue. We would love um, for you to apply to live in those um, homes. Also, tonight is a men's night out. And it is not too late um, to sign up. So again, check out our website um, and show up tonight um, for the men's night out. It'll be a great night. Um, it has been a week for our community, and we are grateful for this Friday that God has carried us through. We are grateful to be a part of this community, and um, we are grateful, I am grateful this morning, that Sister Marianne, um, who works with St. Francis Parish right here in our neighborhood, is here to speak with us. She was scheduled to speak on Wednesday, um, but graciously um, agreed to switch to Friday um, so we could do some other things together as a community on Wednesday. So I would like to invite her forward right now. I would like to say a prayer, and then we have the gift of hearing from her this day. So let's pray. God, we are listening to your word. So Holy Spirit, come now and speak through your servant. And we ask that you um, will open our ears to hear what you have to say to us this day. Thank you as we sang and have prayed and are continued to be reminded that there is healing in your wings. May you heal us today through the words of Sister Marianne. And we pray this all in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Please join me in welcoming Sister Marianne. Please. Well, it is good to be here, and I'm so glad you said we are listening to the Word of God. Yeah? Because the Spirit has moved me to uh, take Colossians chapter 3, 12 to 17. So, are you listening? As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And always be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell richly in you. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. God's word today. And we sing, did we sing with praise and thanks in our hearts? So I know your heart's in good shape, okay? But I want to ask you now to check out your clothing when you dressed this morning, did you just grab the first clean shirt or pants that you could find? Or are you one of those people 
who sets everything out the night before because, you know, you got to work in the lab today. No, I got to go to the gym. Uh, no, I got to meet with my professor. Oh, I've got a class presentation. So you dress appropriately. Are you a brand name buyer? Or are you a bargain hunter? Yeah. Do you look... Goodwill. When you shop, do you look for quality or style or comfort? Cheapness, oh dear. Well, today I think Paul wants us to think about dressing up every aspect of our life with the Word of God. Dress up everything in our life with the Word of God. God wants to hang His Word in your clothes closet. The garments of Christian grace are meant to be hung in your room, lying on the apartment floor, thrown across your bed, but they're with you. The Word of God is meant to impact every one of our relationships. Paul says, teach and admonish one another in wisdom. So everyone in this room is a teacher. Everyone in this room is a student. And each one of us is called to challenge one another to grow and to be better lovers. What does that love look like? Well, Paul says, put on a Christian wardrobe. So put on compassion for the overwhelmed or discouraged Freshman. Put on kindness for the athlete who botched a couple of plays last weekend. Put on humility and let somebody else come to the limelight. Put on patience for the roommate or the housemate, you know, the one who talks all the time. <laughs> no sleep time. Paul says, Try on meekness by supporting somebody else's ideas. And put on forgiveness, especially for the friend who didn't stand with you. And last, it's put on peace. Let go of your need to control everything. <laughs> Be at peace. Let it go. Surrender it. God's plan, not ours. And it takes a while, I think, to get used to new clothes, yeah? Especially ones, you know, if you wear them every day, then, you know, then they become natural habits for you. So it might take time for you to be comfortable with compassion. And I think you've been doing a lot of hugging of one another these days, huh? Suffering with. It might take time to realize the high quality of forgiveness. And it might take time to appreciate the rich style of kindness. So Paul's message is to the Colossians, but it's also for you, Jerry and Jeff and Megan and Bridget, because you are God's chosen ones. And Paul's message is for you, Caitlin and Brian and Steve and Emily. Because you are God's holy ones. And the message is also for you, Antonio and Maria, Chris and David, because you are God's beloved. So who feels left out? <laughs> Just relax. Didn't call your name. <laughs> Paul's message Paul's message is for every one of us gathered here this morning in prayer. We have each been clothed with the divine DNA. Divine DNA. Every one of us made in the image and likeness of God. So regardless of whatever else you put on today, wear love. Regardless of whatever you do, Make sure the soles of your shoes to the hoodie that hides your hair, you got love. 
And our love, kindness, compassion, forgiveness has no limit. And it doesn't have boundaries. You know, the ins and the outs, haves, have nots. It has to extend beyond this college campus, beyond this city and beyond this country. So my challenge for you today and for me and the blessing that I ask for each one of us is this. May God bless you with discomfort. Discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, superficial relationships so that you can live deep in your heart. May God bless you with anger, anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people and the earth, so that you'll work for justice, equity, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer, for those who mourn, so you can reach out your hands to comfort them and touch their pain with a little bit of hope. And may God bless you with foolishness. Foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you'll do the things that others say cannot be done. Then this Hope Campus will be dressed in a wardrobe picked out for it by God. Garments of Christian grace. So let us go now dressed in a new piece of Christian clothing. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thank you.